In the previous video, we discussed how to find the total mechanical advantage of a compound machine. Let's now take a look at an example. We have a crate weighing 9,500 newtons that is pulled up the ramp using the pulley system shown below. We need to find the mechanical advantage of the system, and we also need to find the effort force that is needed to pull the crate up the ramp. Let's take a look at the first part. Here we need to find the total mechanical advantage of the system. In order to find the total mechanical advantage, we need to find the mechanical advantage of each of the individual simple machines. In this compound machine, we have an inclined plane or ramp, and we also have a pulley system. Therefore, the total mechanical advantage will be the mechanical advantage of the ramp multiplied by the mechanical advantage of the pulley system. Remember, the ideal mechanical advantage of a ramp is equal to the length of the ramp divided by the vertical height. The length of the ramp is 10.5 meters, and the vertical height the crate needs to travel is 1.5 meters. Dividing 10.5 by 1.5, we see that the ideal mechanical advantage of the ramp is 7. Now we need to find the mechanical advantage of the pulley. It can be helpful to visualize the pulley system as suspended from above instead of from the side. Now we can easily count the number of strands holding the crate up. Since the effort force is pointing up, this counts as one strand. Then we round the pulley closest to the crate and count strand 2. Round the top pulley and count strand 3. Round the second to the bottom pulley and count strand 4. And round the last pulley and count strand 5. Therefore, the mechanical advantage of the pulley system is 5. Now, to find the total mechanical advantage, we multiply 7 by 5 to get a total mechanical advantage of 35. Now we can solve part B. What is the effort force needed to pull this crate up the ramp, neglecting friction? Once again, we have to think back to the load, effort, and mechanical advantage equation circle. Since we want to find the effort force, we will cover that up, and we are left with load force divided by mechanical advantage. Substituting in 9,500 newtons for the load force and 35 for the mechanical advantage, which is what we found in the previous part, we see that the effort force required should be 271 newtons. This concludes our discussion of compound machines and Unit 5.